about 8, 6 o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our pledge. Commissioner Patton, give it a prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Father in heaven, we pause this evening. Ask your blessings upon us as we enter this meeting. May you bless us with compassion and understanding, and we bless us with gratitude that we have this opportunity to serve our community and to make it a better place for our grandchildren and grandchildren. Be with us, guard our direction, and our steps. So be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <coughs> Everybody else tonight. First item is approval of minutes. Move we'll approval of the past minutes. Second. We have a motion and second for the discussion. Those in favor say by the aye. Aye. Opposed say. Motion passes. Next is the bills. Make a motion to pay the bills. Second. second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor say by the aye. Aye. Opposed say. Motion passes. Not showing any old business, so we'll skip right on down to new business. First item is the first reading of the 2017-18 budget amendment. Everybody get a. It's in, our, it's in the package. It's on the table. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I got a book instead. Uh, <laughs> I'll look at yours. You should be on your desk. Should be on your desk. Well, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, it's right on there. Yeah. Sorry about that. that, part, that These amendments are on the park where we built the new concession stand uh, slash storage. That's all on the park, all that is? All this is on the park. The 28 to amendment 28 to 128? Yep. And the 16,000 to 35,000 and the 30,000 to 75,000. Uh, the building was supposed to be originally was going to go 30 by 40. We actually went to 40 by 60. Right. Uh, Wet weather, we had to get a pump truck in here to pump concrete. Uh, we concreted more up front and in the back. Uh, electrical, HVAC, this is there, everything. So, and they, these are just rough figures. I'll have more concrete figures come next meeting. It, it could actually be trimmed down some. Uh, <coughs> this is also the the uh, new bridge, a veteran bridge going to the amphitheater. So it, it's, it's not just a concession stand. This is everything over on the park side. Is it my pads for my scaffolding? Do what? Is it for the concrete for pads for my scaffolding? Not this year. That, that was the number one thing you said you'd do that in November. After talking to Heath, it wasn't that big of an issue this year. So It wasn't Heath's decision. He he is He's not in charge of the scaffolding. I agree, but he is one of the promoters and this I asked him, is this something that needs to be done now? He said no, not at this point in time. Next year, yeah. So you need a motion to approve the first reading? Correct. I move to approve the first reading of the budget amendment. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Was the favor saying about that? Aye. Uh, uh, opposed, same. Motion passes. Susan employee pay rate. Oh, this is for, mm -hmm. this, yeah. I, I didn't know this one, so. Uh, Drew Bradley, when he comes back, First year, you know, they're at 950. Second year, they go to 1050. Is that correct, Mary? I think you're right. Okay. And we just need to prove that we're going to for second year. We don't, that's not, I thought we already had that in place. I mean, I thought it was just. Uh, I think we look back in minutes and, and <coughs> there's nothing that supported it. So I just want to bring, it, bring it up, make sure everybody. First was. year is, but I think we talked about you didn't find anything where it said right. in the second year it went up. But it's something we do all the time anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. I make a motion we go ahead and increase the pay. Do it for Drew. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify that. Uh, opposed, same. Motion passes. Our uh, seasonal employee. It's not me, the boss. Do it. Number three, hire seasonal employee. I've got my four. Number three, hire sanitation. Oh. We play oh, sorry, sorry. Abbreviation. Oh, yeah. sorry. Okay. Uh, I've got the applications here. I want you to review. If I didn't go into the session, that's what we we're going to talk about. Okay. Water and sewer for Beaverdam Village Edition. Yes. Uh, talk to a gentleman. I guess they are fixing to lay the water and sewer lines. Uh, he asked if there was going to be a water sewer tap. 
Uh, if so, how many, how much, blah, blah, blah. He was supposed to drop off a map here. Uh, he emailed it. <coughs> I, it at all. There, I think it's 32 units. And I think our, our tap on fee is 250 per unit or 250 per tap. But I, I think the way he explained to me on the phone, uh, there's 32 units and there's going to be like maybe eight lines coming out and being tapped. So we gonna, he wants to know if we're going to charge them eight times the 250 or we're going to charge them the 32 units times the 250. Is this tap in addition to the meter? This, this is sewer only here. Oh, sewer. The water, the water side of it, he explained to me on time that they was going to go with individual meters like we wanted to begin with. Friday when he called, he says that you're going to go back with a two inch meter. If that's the case, then there's going to be a surcharge. Just like the others. Just like the other. So he hasn't he didn't call like it today and let me know which way they're they're going to proceed on the water side. On that sewer thing they're gonna have they have the units have four four in a bundle. That is correct. Thing. So it would all go into one and then out. I, I can't see us charging each one of them for that. Either. We waived the charge on that the last time, did we? The last time they actually come and had a meeting with us, they was needing to show that the city was in support of it. And that's why we, we waived that's all why the we waited. Nobody to my knowledge has come and asked. I haven't heard from any of them other than they were doing it. And there are plans for another 32 next year. Right. In addition to the 32 that's coming. Actually, really? there's there's three buildings. Three three times. They're going to build three times. Our 32, 32, and 32 would be 96. Uh, I think that's changed. Because when I talked to the guy, head guy from Ogden area, wherever they said, and then talking about building a community center or building out front, have a library or something there with access off Main Street. <coughs> Yeah, come to you and ask about this. Do you we need to put this off to you get more information? Well, we're not sure what we're proving. Yeah, exactly. Well, do you think they're going to just assume that we're also waiving this, or? Well, he, he asked me point blank. You know, what what was we going to charge? Okay. So, you know, like I say, nobody to my knowledge has come and asked for a waiver. Okay. So they're expecting to be charged something. Yes. And this is only for sewer we're talking about right now, correct? That is correct. But they're going to have at least eight taps, that's for sure, right? That is correct. Have eight? I think it's what he told me. 32 by four. Yeah. About 32 four by four. Four units that come together in one tap. Well, a whole lot more problems. Well, no, but I thought they were doing eight units per building. Okay. Well, I, I don't know how the piping is. That's why I requested yeah. a map. And then we've got to wait until we see what they're doing. Probably we may have to have a special call meeting. Of course, this shouldn't hold them up. I mean, they, they can still proceed. Oh, yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll try, I'll get the math here for. The call it easier to wait than it is to try to redo something. Exactly. Have they got a <coughs> finished completion date on that? No. They're hoping to be done before bad weather. We have to have them started, started yet, so I'm concerned. Of course, they've not had the weather to start yet. <laughs> okay, next items. Uh, Housing Authority Board, we do have a vacancy on the board, and John May has agreed to serve on that board. Who is John May? The one with the Rochester Road? Yeah, mm -hmm. married to Linda. Linda Ferris used to be. How old is he? He's late 60s. 60s. Graduated from yeah. No, he's no. older than us. He's my Irwin's sister, isn't he? Isn't it my Irwin's sister? Uh huh. Yeah. The old one? He's old. married to my Irwin's sister. Okay. I would appoint John May to the Housing Authority Board. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Uh -huh. uh, opposed, same. This motion passes. Uh, next item is approved purchase of tables for Farm City Supper. Uh -huh. They seat six. Uh -huh. I know, but I just want to make they seat six. So there's one and upper. We want two tables. And what is it? The 21st. Or the 28th. This it's month? that 28th. 28th. Oh, I, 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 I won't be able there because I, I can't. I won't be in there. On Saturday, the 28th. It's on Saturday. I've got to commit to the River Valley. I'm on River Valley board now, so i got to commit to the 28th. I won't be going. I don't know. It depends on the other surgery, back surgery, when she's having it in the house, which she recovers. So. Is that medical? Uh, first part of May, yeah. Huh? Okay. I don't know what we'll be running back. Well, sure, sure. I one table. No, I yeah. Okay, well, one table is fine. I just yeah, didn't know yeah. how many might be going. So. And I'll be there, but you know how I'm, um, I pass through and then work the auction. So. Yeah, I'm going to approve one table. Yeah. I'm going to make a motion to approve one table, purchase one table, pharmacy and supper. 
Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Can we have a price on that one? You know, we have a price on that. I don't want $2 a single. I don't know for sure. I don't know about that. Not for that one. Either. Okay. I'm like saying, it's $60 or $60, I thought, for a day. I think it's $60. I think it's $10 total. Oh, really? I take it, but I, we'll get that to you, though, Mary. Okay. Um, that's, did we vote on that? Yes, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mike? Question about uh, my policy that was supposed to be back to be voted on tonight. Your, your, your lawyer would sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm in violation of policy then right now. No, actually, I, uh, I spoke to Mary about it today. Uh, it's only, it's only like a one-line change to it, to the policy. You, you, you talk about where they live, mm -hmm. out of county. Yeah. That was actually approved. It had a motion. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it, it was oh, passed. Oh, we're, 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 we're just waiting right on the change. Okay, that's yeah, waiting on that. That's my point. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, we let it be. Okay. I, I'm wondering why he will. I said, okay, I, I forgot something. If it's our, if it's our, we all, I'll, it, it really and truly is just a line or two. I, I can make the change in the morning and send it to you. Okay. And you take a look at it. Uh, it's a, it's a minor change in the policy. Yeah, that's why we, uh, okay. I was there that remember that we went and passed make, last month because it was such a minor change. Just want to make sure. Okay. You're not in violation, Mark. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Anything else, Mike? No, a uh, new guy, he started last night. Uh, got all his paperwork turned into Richmond. Uh, got everything, you know, picked up for him, all his, uh, uh, where he has to get on e warrants and court net and all that. So we've got him all fixed up. Uh, I hear nothing but good comments from on Facebook, uh, even you know, from Morgantown, yeah, I can go in somewhere and they're like, well, you're getting a good one. We hate to lose him, but we don't know how he stayed up here this long. So, so he's going to be a good addition for us. Keep. Everything's peaceful. How are the streets coming along, Larry? They actually started today. Interesting weather that we've uh, had. <laughs> yeah, they actually started today. Uh, they didn't get very far, but where'd they start? They started, they done a little section on 2nd Street by B Dam Baptist, B Ridgecrest. Ridgecrest Baptist Church. And then they started on Goshen Road, on, on Ridgecrest, on Goshen Road side, and come up maybe not quite to Gil Givens and stopped. So I don't know if that's whether it was run out or time or what. So, so I can cross that to and now I'm call it. At that road. point, you can, but the transition I, game. I know. Was that what they're going to do the whole? Trench or ridge crest? Yes. Well, they had trenches cut across through there. I thought maybe that's that's the where they was tying in. in. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think something the state is. They, they, they haven't really done that before. They haven't. Well, well, they had a heck of a one right there at Ridge Crest Drive, Ocean. Yep. So they actually started today. I have to wait for a car not to be coming sure enough because I sail across there. <laughs> On the <laughs> sections where they're not going to like do a whole section of street, they're going to save enough blacktop to go around and hit some potholes. Uh, no. No? That's the price they give us, it, it says no small patches or potholes or anything. So if, if we got a street that's in good shape except for one pothole, they're not going to do that. They're not going to. Well, he can get a bit we, 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 we handle that. We've done the one on my okay. street one day. Okay. talked about. So. Okay, because I knew it was done. So yeah. I, was <laughs> I, went, I just went, I straddled it out of habit this morning. I guess I didn't know it had been patched. You pulled a Jeremy. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only question I had. No, everything's good with mine, as far as I know. No one told me anything anyway. Yeah, I'm good. I got just one thing, and I don't want to do anything really tonight, but I'm worried about thinking about it, because I've had several complaints, well, off and on over the last several years, but I've really heard a lot of them the last couple of months on garbage cans. They've asked if we could put something in our ordinance as far as our uh, code enforcement. But, they don't like people who just leave the garbage cans out on the streets or on the sidewalks. I've I seen that thought in myself. And it's they don't leave them out year round, but they leave them more days than they should. 
Uh, yeah, some of them. Because I've had some by point one of them out too. And I got there every time I drop out, they look like it's that's not there. So they leave it out at the curb. They leave it out at the street. Yeah. 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 I guess that's one way to not lose trash day. There's a couple of monsters. Well, there's some on my street that goes out four days ahead of time every week too. Well, there's one place over on Central that's got a sofa and what they said now. I wait for spring pickup, I guess. Talking about mine? Mine? No. <laughs> mine? No, this no. is mine's no, about no, seven, seven sofas out there and about 12 mattresses now. So now this is little Central just between up from third to fourth. Third to fourth. What's this Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I, 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 just about there. I know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. They've been there for a while. Yeah, yeah. they? Yeah, been there I just saw that. Weeks. Friday, Saturday. Saturday. They didn't Saturday. Say Michael, but I never seen Michael. It's just something that I think we need to think about. When is our jump day? Is that the week from today? Huh? Mary, Mary. Jump, jump day is next Monday, week. Tuesday. Next, oh, week. next week. Next week. Yeah. Oh, it's good to know. I don't think I'm going to But that's something I'd like to look into. And, and uh, also, I've been doing a little chat, talking to Brad, maybe to do some stuff on our, uh, some of our ordinances of planning and zoning. We've got some stuff that's kind of outdated. And I'll talk to Nancy a little bit about it. Some stuff we'd like to see updated, but um, that's going to be a long haul project. I'm just so you know, something we got looking at coming out. Where'd Larry go? Yeah, you've been running back and forth for the office. He, 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 he went, he paid me off. <laughs> <laughs> he went and got me some wands to take to the park. Make sure this is all he wanted to take. Oh. I don't worry that now. And Mary, that cost us $36. $36, mm -hmm. thank you. Well, that's cheap. Well, what I think is it's a sixth dollar ticket. It is. I'm not going to make any money. Something we do does charge. I think that might be Sparks and Park. Then they say, well, they don't have people spend a bunch on auctions. No, they didn't have. Maybe it's the farmer's market table. Mary, do you have anything? I have anything. Mm -hmm. We need to make a motion go on closed session. Well, I we we sure wait for Larry. If he had anything that he wanted, well, yeah, because he had the guy that was a. Well, I know he's got to go on closed session, but I know if he had anything for them. He was trying to find somebody to put the rest of the middle up on the farmers market extension. I don't know what family might have. Yeah, I think he has. Sorry, winter attack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I could make a motion that we ban Fortnite in the city of the city limits of Beaverdam. I think that would be a good thing. Ban what? Fortnite. My gosh, I've never seen so many people playing Fortnite. What is up with everybody with that? I play it. Everybody does. Well, I don't know. There you is, so I just texted you, Larry. So huh? All right. Do you have anything? Uh, uh, in the closed session. I mean, I know we got to do that. We got the price on the chlorine analyzer. We discussed uh, last meeting on the water. Water wells. <coughs> That'd be times two. Yeah. We well, it's not as much as I figured. So this stuff is anymore. I mean, we, we don't have any choice. If if the wells are going to stay in production, we've got to put them on. I didn't look to see who that's from. Is that from Jim? Yeah. Yeah. We're lucky to have somebody like him in our area. So. It's not about that's afraid of me. That's there, there's a few little stipulations in there. I mean, it could be, it could be higher. What well, does that do to our purchase of water? If we would not do this, do the well. Well, if, if we shut the wells down, of course our water is going to go. You know, our bill is going to go up. How much, y'all? Um, I mean, I have any percentage? You said we use the wells at 28 percent comes from the wells. So you're about, you're about 28 to 30 percent of the price. Yeah. Yeah. We're pumping about about 2.4 million a month. Well, did you ever check on whether we'll have well the maintenance on these things? Because you said that they're notoriously bad for going down. You're looking about about six thousand dollars more a month. For maintenance. No, for for lighting water. water from the what about the maintenance on these things? The maintenance is, is usually fairly minimal. But you know, with chlorine analyzer, with our population, when it we had the last census, uh, that's that's what's putting us in this new bracket. We have to maintain at least a 1.8 uh, residual of uh, free chlorine. Uh, 
I, re I report it. We test it once a day. The scoring analyzer is going to test every every five to ten seconds. Why well, I mean, would you tell me that? Uh, Jeff said it's it's pretty prone for maintenance. There's chemicals you have to buy to put in it. You know monthly, so we're going to have a monthly charge yeah. on that as well. Uh, the maintaining the 1.8 just kind of scares me, you know, because if, if we don't, if, if we drop down below that, then I have to have, have somebody up here every two to four hours to test it to get it up. They did the right report to water they did a water. Oh, yeah. I just looked at what the maintenance cost and the other thing being compared to the purchase of the water. But you were just talking about a little over a month of water. Correct. Pro provided everything is kosher. I have a minimum chlorine I can put in and I have a, a maximum I can put in. The more the more chlorine you put in, you, uh, you're you more susceptible to TTHMs and uh, halocytic acids, which is a byproduct of chlorine. Right. So, and these are the only type of machines that we can get that go on to do that. We either don't have a choice, we want to maintain the wells, or just go at the well. That's what it's going to map to. I think we need to try it a year and then look at the end of a year and look and see if whether yeah. it's costing us or saving us or what's going on. And then <coughs> make I a decision. That. It may be worse than we think. And it, and it, could, and it could be. It yeah, could we be, could just buy these two machines and not have to really have to do much. Right. How many wells are we talking about? Two. 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 Okay. We have three wells. Well, one well the well number three right here shut down. Okay. So is that a form of motion? Yeah. I second it. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Was the paper saying about how? Uh, uh, I was saying. Motion passes. Yeah. Uh, oh. Dollar store. I tried to get a hold of uh, Blaine Luttrell today. Last night I talked to Blaine. He was trying, I advised him to get a, get a contract signed. The dollar store on having the line relocated. Uh, called Blaine today to verify if, if that was done or not. I was able to reach him, so you know, Dollar Store ha still has not removed or relocated the the line. Uh, I'll try to have some more information by next meeting. If not, we may need to just turn them off again. Do something. Well, what we do if they don't? We have what we shut them off. Shut the water off. So did last time. I mean, that's the best way you're going to get them to say it's like anything else. When you run out of water and they stop, they can't. They'll be open for business. They don't have to run water. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Gaither building number two, we have new electric service in. Uh, Donald Bray put the new 200 amp breaker box in. KU, I seen a while ago, has got it wired up. So that is, that is the big update, big huge update on that building. And the last thing I have is the 2018-2019 budget. I will be starting on that next week. If you have any wishes or wants or money to donate, Hmm. You say, Kevin, wishes one thing, answer is no. <laughs> I think we've done a lot of that. So no. I mean, we've done a tremendous amount. Well, and one thing, of course, I want to see what happens with this pension. Because if it's going to cost us an extra $70,000 a year, that's something we're going to have to think about. You're right. You're right. And that's not just this year, that's every year. <laughs> so, like I say, the legislature has told. We work with the delay. The legislature has been very adamant that if the governor vetoed it, they would override it, and that that stands to see what happens with that come Friday. That's all that I Can I entertain a motion on the closed session? Second. Second.